Hi there, and welcome to Storytime with Kay. Today we will read The Lonely Little Christmas Tree by Sonica Ellis and illustrated by Harriet Rodis. This book was published in 2021. The crisp December air was filled with festive cheer on the Christmas tree farm. Families hidden beneath layers of clothing walked tirelessly, all searching for the perfect tree. When the day was done and the moon had woken from its slumber, the trees huddled together. They talked about the families their friends would be joining for Christmas and the lavish decorations that would adorn them. They wondered about the presents that would be placed at their feet and what the future had in store. I know I'll make a lucky family happy this Christmas, said Little Tree. I can hardly wait. You? Ha! Leyland laughed. You, another tree chuckled. What a funny little guy. You'll be lucky if you even get picked said Douglas. I'll get picked. Watch. You'll see, shouted Little Tree, so they could all hear him. Every day, a new family visited the Christmas tree farm, looking, touching, and smelling the trees. Kids played and laughed through the farm. It was a great sight to behold. Sadly, Little Tree didn't get picked. He patiently waited. I see our little friend is still here, said Canaan, a slightly taller tree with rich green needles. I didn't get picked today, but I'm not losing hope. There's always tomorrow, replied Little Tree. As the sun rose, Visitors arrived at the tree farm and started picking trees. Soon enough, a family wandered over to Little Tree. How about this one? asked the man. It's too small. This one is more like it, replied the woman, pointing to another tree. Before long, it was Christmas Eve, and Little Tree looked around and saw that he was all alone on the farm. He gave up all hope of being picked. Dreams of having a family vanished from his thoughts. He began doubting his worth and blaming himself. Little Tree began to cry. Maybe if I were perkier, stronger, or taller like the others, I would have been picked. Suddenly, a mouse below interrupted him. Little tree, don't you cry. You're not alone. Wait here, I'll be right back. The mouse had an idea. She ran home and got some ornaments and told her neighbors what had happened. It wasn't long before all the critters at the Christmas tree farm had heard about little tree's dilemma. Each brought an ornament or a present to place at Little Tree's feet. Soon, Little Tree was dressed in lights and ornaments, and a star was placed on his head. He was surprised and touched by the animal's kindness. He thanked them all. This is the best Christmas gift any tree could ask for, Little Tree shouted. Merry Christmas and good night. The end. Thank you for reading along. Be sure to rate and follow my page for new episodes posted daily.